The Mix Master sing just about posted speeds. We'll be back in 15 minutes. Now back to IOP. The Sundance Film Festival wraps up 10 days of indie movie mania this weekend, and joining us for a first hand account of all the buzz is film critic for The Rap and The Young Turks, What the Flick, our man in West Hollywood, Alonzo Duralde. Hey, Alonzo. Good morning, Alan. I survived another one. Ooh, you're back. You know, I, I went last year. You're a repeat visitor. What are the pros and cons of the festival? Well, you know, everything that you hear about the crowds and the celebrities and the paparazzi and the gifting suites is all true. And, and then on top of it, it's snowing and people are trying to get through it. But the upside is you do actually get to see some pretty great movies. Well, let's get to it. Tell us uh, the best of the fest. What do you got? Well, uh, a movie that I thought was really charming that just got picked up by Sony Classics is uh, Celeste and Jesse Forever. It stars Rashida Jones from Parks and Rec. She co-wrote the film. And Andy Samberg. And they play a longtime couple who are trying to remain best friends even though they're in the process of getting divorced. Uh, the first half, I think, is brilliantly funny. Uh, it kind of falls apart for me as it goes along. But now that it's got a distributor, I'm hoping that they can take it back to the editing room and tighten it up a little. Andy Samberg in a rom-com. All right, we'll see. Uh, I hear there are a couple will surprise good... you. Oh, all right. Uh, I hear there are a couple good documentaries uh, there, too. Yeah, and, and I think that, that are going to have a real impact. Kirby Dick's uh, The Invisible War is about uh, sexual assaults in the military, and it's the kind of movie that I think can really have the uh, possibility to make an impact on current policies and to change them. Um, you hear from a lot of women who, who suffered uh, uh, these assaults over the course of their career, um, and the movie really kind of spells out uh, what the, the problems are in the military in terms of how these things get reported and how the perpetrators get punished or not punished. And I think you're going to be hearing a lot about it from politicians and from the Pentagon. Oh, okay. That sounds like a, an intense one. And, and finally, uh, give us uh, the best film you saw at Sundance. Um, my hands-down favorite, another documentary, it's a film called How to Survive a Plague. It's about ACT UP, the protest group in the 1980s, and how their actions directly led to the uh, discovery of the drugs that are keeping HIV-positive people alive all over the world. Um, I think it's a very interesting movie in the uh, 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 Occupy Wall Street world uh, that really kind of shows that if you uh, believe in something and you take to the streets and you're organized, uh, you can actually make real change in government policy. Wow. Okay. Well, that sounds like you had a great time. Well, thanks a lot, Alonzo, and uh, we'll Skype you later. You got it. Take care. All right, thank you, Ellen and Alonzo. Hey, Newt Gingrich has a plan to 